Here we go. It is the SSE Air Tristy League promotion relegation playoff final. Waterford and Blue, UCD and White. But who in 2022 will be in the Premier? That question will be answered this evening. Into the box. Might break for Waterford. It does break for Waterford. And it's in. It's brilliantly finished by Wordsworth. Waterford take an early lead. How big a goal could that be for Wordsworth and for Waterford? He had a perfect start, great scenes, the fans, thousands in here at Richmond Park tonight. But it's come from a throw in Oshie Newsy, he'll be so disappointed. I'm not sure if Sean Brennan thought he was maybe fouled uh, trying to clear the ball, but it's just thrown into the box. Newsy are able to clear it, it's broken to words where he's dedicated to the fans. It's a great finish with his left foot, it gives Lorcan Healy no chance in goal for UCD. That corner not clear, particularly Brindley. Sean Brennan will keep it alive for UCD. Brennan. Brennan with the cross. Clever defensive header, but only as far as a white jersey. Outside it goes to Kerrigan. Kerrigan, who requires watching on the right. Kerrigan. Kerrigan with the decent cross. And UCD had the equaliser. It went all the way across. Waterford couldn't deal with it. And UCD, who had been threatening, are now level. Yeah, great ball across the box. Again, UCD, they've been really good since going behind. It spread wide nicely. And you can see Kerrigan, two Waterford defenders trying to square him up. And unfortunately for them, they've got nobody in that space on this time. And I think it's Dara Keane at the back post. Yeah, Dara Keane, again, winger to winger, right winger to left winger. Waterford will be so disappointed. You cannot allow a cross that low across your box. We spoke about the corner just a moment ago, Oshin, when it was really well cleared by Eddie Nolan. On that time, Nolan and Ferguson allow the ball across the six yard box the cross comes in Keane at the back post great finish 1-1 one, one game on it would be the former Waterford player wouldn't it Dara Keane have no massive interest in taking these short or doing anything magic and I wouldn't blame them given the players that they have both available to deliver the ball in terms of these two boys Patterson and Junior and the lads in the box Junior's cross flicked down by Halford and I think someone got something on that no they didn't it is a goal kick rather than a corner kick but it wasn't far away yeah, Anthony Wordsworth is the one who was just inside. It's a fantastic ball. It really, really is. It's flat. It really favours the attackers. Junior, left-footed, absolutely brilliant ball. Halford flicks it. And I'm not sure if Wordsworth was offside. I don't think the flag went up. But Halford might actually be disappointed not to have hit the target. But there and the last um, thing you want on your team, sorry, Oshina, is people having a little moan, you know. Whelan digs it out, gives it to Kerrigan. Kerrigan still going somehow. Kerrigan! Good save, Brian Murphy. The rebound is scuffed and Waterford get away with one there well Kerrigan once again showing how dangerous he is in combination with Colin Whelan he's reacted great since coming home from the UK he's doing a, an access course in UCD as well and a top top young midfielder Sam Todd over the top for Paul Doyle Doyle controls it well Doyle up against Ferguson UCD they just can't knock them off the ball is that Dara Keane Dara Keane it bounces around and it's swept in and I think it's Colin Whelan yeah it is I'm not quite sure what Waterford were doing because they'd load the bodies in the box weren't able to clear it it's brilliant play initially really persistent play just drops off the keeper and Colin Whelan has run past three or four Waterford defenders inside their own six yard box you know a full week to prepare for the game and you see her going on the attack here here's Paul Doyle drifts it in behind for Colin Whelan Whelan Murphy brilliant goalkeeping brilliant okay. atmosphere here it must must be said Paul Doyle's corner it's an in swinger Murphy has to deal with it it slips and it's off the woodwork he was desperately unlucky Sam Todd unlike the goalkeeper he'd normally either catch them or punch them and it's actually really really good play by Jack Keeney to just keep it alive and, and maybe just you know as you can see there the goalkeeper thought it was a foul ref didn't think it was a foul and has the look up the cross is on Evans puts it in and now it is Kerrigan who will break UCD so good on the counter attack so quick on the counter attack look how many of them are getting forward comes to Gallagher Kerrigan was fouled it's a yellow card it's a red card now followed by a second yellow and a red O'Keefe, who had been booked, is now sent off after picking up the second yellow card. Yeah, we spoke about UCD on the counter-attack. So, so dangerous. Oh, I'm not totally sure that's a foul. Both players are moving at such Which pace. And, again, I think it's... Murphy's looking for Wordsworth, who does flick it on. 
Junior can't get there. Ozan gets it away. He's had a wonderful game. Whelan. It falls for Dara Keane. It's still in play. Everyone stop for a second. Dara Keane to finish it off for UCD. Dara Keane. Good save by Murphy. Yeah, Murphy's kept Waterford in it again. Good save with his feet. His angles are perfect. You'd expect that from a goalkeeper. Of a bizarre week. Looks like it's going to have a sad ending for Waterford. Unless they can pull something out of the bag here. Here comes Brian Murphy. Murphy to Ronaldo. Who gives it to Evans. Evans has to go long. I think. And again, UCD win it. Junior tries to make it his and does getting away from Whelan Junior has Wordsworth outside back to Evans Evans towards the edge of the box it's flicked on brilliantly but it's too close to the goalkeeper John Martin said I'll just flick it on and hope someone runs onto it no one did and that could be that yeah it's actually not the worst flick on in the world it's gone into a good area but it's actually gone straight into the keeper's hands and you're right Oshin that could be it well we had five minutes allotted for injury time 